just showing a wide shot of the uh, underside of the game just so you can get an idea of the layout. Here's a few things on the uh, 18 volt circuit that um, doesn't make sense to me. I'm just trying to figure out why these are here. Number one, you have a normally closed switch. This is the normally closed switch. You can see this wire right here. This one goes right to the fuse. It's just a few inches above it. Uh, but I wanted to zoom in here. As you can see, it's normally closed. That's one thing. You can see there's a uh, insulated piece on here. So it looks like something should be pushing this down or pulling this up or doing something. Uh, if you look right over here, this piece here is made to make switches. Uh, so I don't know if this at one time have, was extended out further. I don't know. But the way it's set up right now, it doesn't make any sense because when you put the coin in and you reset it, you see how it goes down? Like I said, it should be hitting it for one, but if it did hit it, what don't make sense is it's already normally closed, so what are you doing? You're doing nothing. You know, it's already closed. Number two, you have either an R2 or R4 relay. And they're only named R2 and 4 because I didn't have no name for them. Originally the tilt was like R1, but now I realize it's a tilt, so I call it a tilt. R2, I have no idea what it does. R4 is the same, but in the other circuit. Um, don't know what this does. As you can see, it's energized all the time. So it has a set of normally uh, open uh, contacts, which are always closed. This is R2 or R4, but in this case it is R2. Another useless switch because this coil is energized all the time. So these are normally open contacts, but because it's energized all the time, of course, it is closed all the time. So it doesn't do nothing. And then on startup, when I push this down, see what it does? It pushes that rod down, which, which uh, allows the contacts to drop. So it closes them. And then when you release it, it opens them. But remember, it's always energized, so it's normally closed all the time. It does not make sense. I can't see this actually being correct. Um, the thing that gets me is if you could see this wiring over here, you, know, you can make it out. It's the old, um, like aluminum wiring, old brittle wires. I'm not saying that um, this wasn't changed. It may have been changed. It's uh, from the 30s, so you know this could have been changed in the 50s or whenever, and, and this wire still could be old enough to, you know, look like this and get brittle. But again, I don't see a point of having this. Coils energize all the time. It does nothing. This goes to reset. It, it could change the position and then release it. All right, that would make sense. But again, energize all the time. So, trying to figure this one out. Number three would be the normally closed switches. These, I could see that they're uh, tied into um, the um, the reset coil for the horses. So this is always normally closed, except when you're um, putting a coin in and you're uh, uh, coining up the game, you're resetting it manually by pushing uh, the coin in. Uh, there's a, a piece that will open this up, and this is open while the uh, manual um, resets uh, switch closes. And as the reset switch stays closed, this opens. When the reset switch opens up again, this closes. All right, the next thing I'm going to go over is the um, six volt light section because it has that R2 and that uh, normally closed switch in there. So you have R2 normally open, which is closed because the coil is always energized. And you have the normally closed switch, which is always in series with this, and the 18 volt side and the six volt side. Same thing here, you get the same not the same switch, but the same switch on the other side, and um, R4, which is the same as R2. All right, so um, to, before I get started on this, I should tell you that this um, switch right here, this normally closed switch, is tied in with the uh, 
with the uh, manual reset switch for uh, resetting the large horse coil to pull the horses back. So actually let me show that one clip I did on this because I show how they're intertwined. Okay. This is that normally closed switch that's always in series with the uh, R2 or R4 relay. Uh, one of them is um, 6 volt and one of them is 18 volt. Uh, it ties in with this switch here. This is the switch that resets the horses. So when you um, put your coin in and you, and you push the, uh, the coin slot in, it's going to uh, close this switch. And when this switch closes, this opens. And you have a um, it's like a piston down here, an air piston, kind of like a the things you have in like a, on the screen door to slow the door from, you know, like a closer to slow it from uh, slamming. So uh, what this does is it allows the switch to be made longer. So if it's not timed correctly and the horses don't come all the way back, then you could um, screw this in and it will let less air out, and that will make you go slower, or you can. Or if it's too much, you can do it faster, however you want. But anyway, it's adjustable. So anyway, these switches open up whenever this is closed. Alright, so after you see all that clip there, um, all I can think of is that since this switch opens up when it's resetting the only thing I can think of is um, as your horse goes across here these points don't make so the number three light shouldn't come on but as it gets over here to the second place this, this rivet is actually right here I just filmed this too so I'll put that clip on after this so as it's right here you're making that number two light and as it gets up to here you're making the first uh, place light so all I could think of is when the horse coil is uh, energized and the horse is sliding back it's gonna make contact with this one and maybe they just you know like over here's your lights or over here however you want to look at it and they just open this up so when it's dragging across this won't light up I can't see it being an arcing issue since it's 6 volts AC I don't see that being a big deal um, but it's it's there for a reason and, and since it's tied into the reset that's all I can think of is it has to take the power out here or on this side over here to the lights and the only reason it should do that I would think is preventing that from happening uh, arcing or, or lighting or flashing whatever it's going to do just showing the horse going over the rivets as it hits the first one I was assuming it would be on on here this is the third place one so actually one side is making common right now and then when you get to this section here it's not making you just got this one on nothing's on this rivet so third place wouldn't show anything and then when you get to here this is second place and you can see that's making on there and then you get up a little more and this is third I mean first so that would be first place the only problem is um, this thing doesn't know it doesn't know if you won there's nothing that actually is, tells you like game over or anything like that just say uh, for some reason I was doing really good with one ball and I got all, all the way up to here if you kept playing it's just gonna be banging in the air because nothing tells it to stop you know but anyway, I wanted to show you when you come across here and you reset this, you're going to see this dragging across. So I was thinking that normally close switch opens just so when you're you, you're hitting here and here, it's not going to arc for whatever reason. But all right, finally, you see this wire here. This is that long white wire that. Uh, we thought went up to the tilt. I'll just show the clip right now so you see what that is. This is a wire that I found that wasn't attached to anything and uh, originally um, we were talking about it and we thought it might have went to the tilt because it was you know pretty long, it goes all the way down. But uh, after I drew everything out I see that it's basically uh, in between the two advanced uh, relays and, and uh, you're going to need this for uh, your common for your, to get back to your transformer. 
All right, so now you see with that wire you're completing your common because right here I just had I had a I had all this in blue just to show that it really had no no common. You had your hot coming down here, your hot coming down here, and your common was missing. But the one thing that that gets me is someone grounded to the chassis. Is that normally supposed to happen? I don't know. But these horses are riding on a rail, and the chassis is the rail, okay? So these horses are riding on this rail, so they're naturally grounded to that rail. So as this piece is coming across here, it's grounded, and that's going to light up the light regardless, okay? So do I keep this ground, or do I get rid of it? Second part of that question is, as your advance relay um, gets pulses from the from the balls, um, and let me just pull that one up here just so I can show you what's going on here. Here's your advance relay. Here's that R2, which is always energized, so that's closed. Here's your normally closed, which is always closed until you reset the uh, horses. So we got two closed circuits here, and the only thing that's open is is the uh, the play field springs around the bumper and when the ball hits that the, the springs um, basically close there like a switch so it'll close this and that would um, that would give a pulse to the advance relay okay so let's get back to this one here so as the advance relay uh, switch closes okay uh, the horses are going to move so when they get to the tail end here and they hop up here it's going to close completing your common while while it's on these just say it's on the second place lights right so it closes here but it only closes for a second so it will flash your light will go blink and it's off it's only going to come on with this and as it advances you lose your ground because you only got that one rivet on on this part here and then here and until it gets to the end and it only come on when this is closed so I don't see a point of this switch it doesn't make any sense and then if you have this grounded to the chassis you don't need this you're actually making the circuit through here so this this doesn't make any sense to me so if you can um, eyeball that and kind of give me an idea on this I just don't get it I could see as a switch makes with the ball um, you know this you got the capacitor to ease that arc but again it's six volts I don't, I don't see that being a huge arc but um, that's one thing that um, I'm confused on is grounded to chassis is that normal or is that what someone added because they're like well this only grounds for a split second and it only grounds on those two rivets because uh, you got the two pieces going across here and they only make contact here and here and the other thing uh, that bothers me is there's no way to end this game just say if I got all 60 uh, hits on the, on the bumper with the ball on the first ball and the horse went all the way over and I got four balls left I can still play those four balls because there's nothing that tells me that it's game over. Just say a uh, light light up and say, yeah, you're in first place, but it nothing ends the game, you know. So I always thought that was weird that they don't have like a game over or uh, you know you win and then everything resets. You know, it's nothing, nothing like that. So anyway, I just threw that in there too. All right, so that's the circuit. Again, the only thing in here really is unusual as you got the R2 of course you got the normally closed switch you got no ground here so I have to ground that up here and then while it is going back to common it only uh, gets common when the switch makes every time it advances and it's only going to show the lights twice but because it's grounded to the chassis the lights will show all the time as, as it's uh, going across these rivets to complete the path so, like I said, that's just unusual. But let's go back to that uh, normally closed switch because that's on the 6 volt side. Let's go to the 18 volt side. This I don't get at all. Here's your normally closed switch, right? 
All right, again, R2. So don't always close, always energized. So you normally close switch. Why does it open on reset? Is that to prevent this advanced relief from making getting the horse coil to go forward? It can't go forward unless a ball's hitting here. So I don't get why it's there. I don't think you really need that, but it's there. All right, so let's go to the last section. This actually is my favorite section because there's absolutely nothing wrong. This all makes sense. You have your large horse coils. This is your 30 volt side. All right, so as that advanced relay makes, closes this switch, which sends the voltage to here, goes through, horse moves up one. And then and you do this 60 times to get to the end. Uh, then if if you you finished and you put your coin in and you push the slide manually makes this switch and that resets this guy so you get your path this way so this actually makes sense this is the only thing that actually um, I was happy I had one circuit that I liked so anyway um that's basically it I, I did also draw this one up here let's see where's that drew this one today got so many papers over here. Uh, let's see, well, oh, here we go. This, it's harder to see, I didn't draw a marker. Um, but I'm, I'm going to send you a copy of this too, but, um, yeah, it's hard to see. But what I did here, I call this any player complete circuit because, um, both sides are the same. You know, seven and nine, they're the same, except for a couple switches that weren't taken out or whatever. But they're all wired the same. But what I did here, I removed that normally closed switch by the fuse. Don't need that. I removed R2. I removed R4. Don't need that or its switches. I removed the tilt. And what else did I remove? I think that's it. So basically, I got the 6 volt circuit here. And I just get that normally closed because, again, I thought maybe it has something to do with this and coming back with a horse. I don't know. I probably don't even need that. So really, to get this thing working, you got the advanced relay, which is going to close um, for your lights. This doesn't make sense. As I showed you, it closes for a second, so you're going to only light up when it's here and here. So really, probably don't even need that. So I could probably get rid of that and that, but I'm just leaving them in there because... Uh, they kind of serve a purpose. Uh, the 18 volt side, I just got rid of R2 and, and the tilt, so basically you got the advanced relay, you got the play field bumpers, and a normally closed switch, which again, I could probably get rid of that because I don't know why this opens up. It doesn't uh, seem to do anything uh, when you're resetting the horses, but I just leave it in there right now. And then on this side, it's the same as, as I just showed you, it all made sense. So you just got the advanced relay moving the horse, and you got the manual reset on startup um, resetting the horse. So that's basically it. Oh, what I was thinking of doing is um, I was thinking of coming off here because this is hot all the time. Okay, where where this has a switch in the in the way. So come off here, right? And then I was going to come up to here, and I was going to put a six volt coil right here. All right, and I'm going to put it right here so when you get to the first place uh, winner, you know, so either either side, you got this side or this side, just drew the one side. So anytime you hit first place, the last contact, the um, power will go to the 6-volt coil, which is going to be a relay, and then I'll have a normally closed contact on the plug that's feeding all the... 120 volts basically your power plug would do it that way so this way once you win it goes dead so your power goes off and then when you reset it this drags it across and then the 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 relay won't have any power closing the switch again and then the game resets this way you got kind of like a game over where it won't say game over but at least the power will be turned off the only problem is you have to make it to the last rivet so if you only made it to step 45 it's still going to be energized you're going to have to get all the way to that 60th um 60th uh gallop we'll call it so it has a gallop 60 times it'll hit that rivet and turn off so 
I was just trying to come up with something to finalize, you know, like a game over or something like that. That's all I can come up with. So if you uh, see something like that or come up with something in your head, just uh, give me a holler, write me back. And again, uh, I appreciate any help um, I can get from you. Like I said, I can get it. To, I can get it to work just by doing this, and even even eliminating a couple more things, it will work. It's just uh, I'm trying to figure out why some things are here because. No one's going to be putting uh, extra money into, um, you know, adding relays and switches and wires and labor just because. You know, everything costs money, and if you want to make money, you're going to be cutting that stuff out. So, again, thanks again for watching this, and and I appreciate it if you get back to me. Thanks. Okay, one last thing. I found this ad, and it's a nice ad because it explains you know um, a lot about the double track and as I was saying there is no way of finishing the game uh, you know game over or any of that so in here it just kind of tells you you know you're racing horses or whatever but I thought that this was interesting it says Vitor counter records winners so apparently the one time this thing had a counter on it and a Vitor counter I looked up a Vitor counter and Vitor apparently was some company that made counters back in the you know 20s and probably up to I think the 60s or 70s or whatever so they're either mechanical counters or uh, electrical counters but I didn't see any evidence of a counter here there's a few screw holes that might have had something and who knows it might have been one of those counters so apparently this thing didn't have like a game over because I was hoping maybe one of those like that like that uh, relay 2 or R4 or R2 would have been a game over or something to finalize the game but apparently it's saying a Vitor counter records winners so that's telling me that either it's for gambling and they say yeah how many times did that counter go off or I don't know I'm not sure on that so just that I throw that out there just so you can read that